What is up my Bob Comics? Welcome back to another review video. And yes, you saw the thumbnail and read the title right. Today we're looking at Beast Glove Kong. Yes. Alrighty, I'm not going to go over the packaging too much because I've already reviewed this type of packaging from earlier. I'll just read the description and get the box open. Alrighty. Armed with his ancestral axe and a prototype battle gauntlet that enhances his earth-shattering primal strength, Kong roars into battle with a meteor impact with every punch. Man, it was hard finding that description because of all the French! But... Anyway, uh, yeah, Kong is Beast Glove. Beast stands for Bio Enhanced Anatomic Seismic Thunder Glove. Bio Mimic Heave. Uh, I have both Godzillas, Scar King, all I need is Shimo, and Suko and Doug. Alright, enough blazing the box. Let's get this guy open. Okay, so, okay, so, we're just gonna open him, like so. Okay, pretty simple, not nothing. Oh. Skibbity toilet. I need to, uh, there we go. Man, he is very heavy. No, I'm not even joking, bro. This guy is like heavy. Like, like listen to that. Like listen. Oh. No, but like actually, like. Oh, nice. All right. Let's get the bio my McKeeve and then we'll get to the figure review. Alrighty, so out of the packaging, I gotta say he looks very clean. I'll do say so myself. Uh, let's get a more light on him. This is a different sculpt from the uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. Kong. Uh, I do not have the Godzilla vs. Kong. Kong? Man, a lot of Kongs. Uh, yeah, he does not, despite the description, he does not come with his beast, or not beast, uh, yeah, he comes with the beast club, but he does not come with his battle axe. If I'm being completely honest, the heave is cool, but I wish it came with someone like, friggin, I don't know, Godzilla, or like, even Scar King, because Scar King, like, he didn't really have an accessory. He had the whip slash, but that's kind of, like, ideal, you know what I mean? So it would have been cool if... The, I wouldn't need, like, I just wish he got the axe, you know what I mean? Like, the battle axe, because, like, the combo with the axe and the power and the beast glove is just, it's just awesome. It's, since it chills down my butt cheek. Anyway, so, let's take a look at his sculpt. So, his sculpt, you can see his sculpted abs. The scars are not sculpted, they're, like, painted on, which is kind of a bummer in a way, but what do you expect? It is Playmates. Oh, I didn't even notice he has a ball joint. Look. You can see he has a new open mouth design with a bigger beard and his nice sharp teeth behind the teeth uh, are not painted as you can see. And um, Beast Glove actually has a really nice sculpt, like I have to admit. Especially for like playmates, like, like you got the strap on, no, you got the strap on his wrist, man. Shut up. This is a family friendly channel, you friggin pervert. Actually... Sorry guys, might have gotten a little upsetty spaghetti, but yeah, uh, sculpt is really good. Sculpt is really good. Now, let's move on to paint. So, with the paint, it's actually pretty good, especially on the Beast Glove. Again, I know I'm, I sound like I'm glazing the Beast Glove. I'm not level zero, but like, the Beast Glove is actually like, especially for someone like Playmates, it's like, it's really good. It does look awkward at times though, like you can see the paint doesn't match up with this little gear. So it's kind of apparent to have his arm kind of like bent, you know what I mean? Same with this, but like, other than that, like, one paint hiccup, it's really good. Uh, yeah. Same, like, he has a new, like, his paint is a lot more, like, film accurate and detailed than Godzilla vs. Kong, because in the Godzilla vs. Kong, his face and chest was black instead of gray, and his fur was a way lighter brown, and I like how they kind of darkened, they kind of switched, switched, switched it around, you know what I mean? They brighten, they darkened the gray and brightened up the black, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, I would take a look at accessories, but th I don't think it deserves its whole section because it only comes with one. This is the Biomimic Heave, the uh, new Heave. I do have the Heave from Godzilla vs. Kong that came with the Skull Crawler, but I actually lost it, lol. Anyway, but yeah, I'll probably, you'll, you'll see, just search it up, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, you can see it's metallic, no like paint work on it. Just not really surprising if I'm being honest. Uh, 
it does kind of look weird scale size because it's nowhere near this big compared to Kong, especially in the movie. But it's it'll do. Okay, I guess you can put it on. It's like a oh, you know, it'd be cool if you like put it on. It's a jetpack, or even to get his super punch, you like hooked on and use its jets to like make his punch faster. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm just going. So let's uh, move on to articul uh, articulation. Alrighty, articulation is pretty standard for playmates. Arm can move up this much, down this much, elbow cut kinda. Can move back this much, forward this much, wrist can turn. Wrist cannot turn on this hand though, which is unsurprising given the beast glove. Uh, his head is on a ball joint sort of, so you can move his head kinda this far up, this far down. Head can turn. You can turn it like this, but then again, it's like what what could you want Kong possibly doing in this pose? I mean, you can make it look like he's flying at you, but then again, it's kind of just like, you know what I mean? Uh, legs can move out this much. You can do the splits. And his feet go, but he does not have ankle p movement. All right, that's his articulation. Let's do some comparisons and wrap up the video. Here's him compared to my Godzilla with Heat Ray uh, figure. Here is him compared to Alpha Skullcrawler figure from Godzilla vs. Kong. Here is him compared to the Scar King with Whipslash figure. And last but not least, here he is compared to my Godzilla x Kong New Empire Evolved Godzilla. Alright guys, thank you for tuning in to today's video, glad you could make it. Uh, so, the, epi the pilot for the series is finally out, oh my gosh dude, it's been so long. Uh, Tiny Troopers Episode 1 is finally up, it's on my channel. Put a link in the description in case you want to see it. Uh, but yeah, other than that, thank you for watching today's video. Uh, my mom recently got back from Japan, which is cool, like Tokyo. And she got me some Godzilla figures straight from Tokyo. So expect reviews for those guys and maybe even stop motion fights from those. So see you in the next video, Bob Comics. I'll see you next time. I said that already, Bob Comics out.